We've reached the last stitch of the tutorials and I've chosen the feather stitch for the center vein here of the leaf just for variety really. You could use a stem stitch, you could draw more little lines in for the veins and embroider each one separately. But let's try with the feather stitch. I've come up right at the tip here, not on top of any of the stitches on the outside edge. And I'm going to use the line in the center as a guide to where the center of my feather stitch is going to be. So feather stitch has a center line with some prongs attached. And I'll put a photograph in front of this video so that you can see what I mean. And take a stitch down to the right. And the prongs are going to be the little veins in the leaf which are imaginary. And then come up on the line. If you're left handed you'll go the other way first. So now I'm going to do these fairly randomly. So I'm going down to the left and then coming up on the line, not pulling the loop all the way through like that. So I'm trying to imagine the leaf rather than looking too much at the stitch. So let's see where another vein would go. So always come up on the line, like that. Let's do another one there. And if you don't like this, it's fairly straightforward to take out. So have a go. You can always trace a leaf on another piece of fabric and just see what you think and test it out beforehand. So I'm continuing quite randomly here. As this part of the leaf opens up, I'm going to make them even larger, I think. So, and you can make your stitches down here a bit shorter. So, one more in there. And what do we think? Maybe another one there. And you want to come up at the tip where that stem stitch is on the outline. And then take a stitch down. Okay, so the feather stitch isn't very uniform. It's random according to the shape of the leaf. So I think that's okay. I'll come back to it in a minute. Let's have a look at the other one and do that one. With this second leaf here, the curve goes around the other way a little bit. And I'm going to make my stitches on the right quite small and those on the left quite large. In fact, I'm going to break the rules and I feel I want to start on the left. So, because the curve's going that way. So let's just take a stitch. And now a much smaller one. Large. 
larger. And then a smaller one. This, this is a case where you don't have to worry about your stitches being even. Just look at where you think the veins in the leaf should go. And because you're starting at the tip and you're almost doing it backwards, it's quite hard to see until you've finished. Okay, another little one there. And let's just do one down there at maybe a slightly different angle. I think I'm okay with my leaves. This one here I haven't pulled too tight and it's curved round a little bit and I think that looks actually quite nice. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to return with another video to show you how to remove the marks, the friction pen marks. And also I've got a few more ideas about decoration, which you could add if you wish. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for that.